Stranglehold is a third-person shooter developed by Midway Games Chicago Studio, released in late 2007 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It is Midway's first game to use Unreal Engine 3 and was developed in collaboration with John Wu. Stranglehold is the sequel to Wu's 1992 Hong Kong action film, Hard Boiled and stars Chow Yun-Fat in a reprisal of his role as hard-boiled cop inspector. Tequila. Yuan. Stranglehold is the first project on which Wu and Chow have collaborated since Hard Boiled. A sequel to Stranglehold, entitled Gun Runner, was in the works prior to Midway's financial demise but was ultimately cancelled. Plot In latter day Hong Kong, a policeman goes missing. The department is dumbfounded by the disappearance until they receive a ransom call from an unnamed source. The kidnappers request that a single officer appear at Kowloon Market. Lee, the chief of police, believes this is a trap and plans to send in a squad. One officer, Jerry Ying, disqualifies himself from this role, claiming that an appearance as an officer will blow the cover he's used to infiltrate a triad group called Dragon Claw. Instead, Inspector Tequila Yuan decides to go to Kowloon alone, despite Lee's order for him to bring a team. Once in the market, Tequila is attacked by a number of triads, proving Lee's hunch correct. After dispatching the attackers, he discovers the missing officer's badge, only to find a bullet hole through the center and a photograph of the dead officer. While engaging in a standoff with the triads, Tequila receives a tip that the officer was assassinated by a group called the Imperial Nines, located in Tai O. While in Kowloon, Tequila stops in at a tea house owned by the triad group Golden Cane, where he orders his usual tequila. At one of the teahouse's tables, the Imperial Nines are making a deal with Golden Cane regarding forged passports. Upon the Golden Cane representative's revelation that the man sitting at the bar is a cop, the I-9 representative panics and shoots the Golden Cane representative. Shortly afterwards, the I-9 is dispatched by Tequila. Enraged that the cop had broken up the deal, the Golden Cane bouncer Kuang Fang attacks Tequila, only to be gunned down. After emerging from the tea house, Tequila informs his superior that he's going to go to Taiyo to investigate further. He also mentions that during the deal he overheard that the Imperial Nines are working under Dragon Claw. Upon arrival in Taiyo, Tequila asks a local fisherman if he knows anything of the triad's activity. The fisherman responds that Taiyo is under I-9 control, but that Golden Cane is trying to capture it. He also says that the Dragon Claw leader, Jimmy Wong, is currently residing on a boat in Tai O. Tequila tracks down Wong and is introduced to his two top men, Dapping and Jerry, the undercover officer who Tequila had personally trained and worked with in the past. Wong reveals that the Golden Cane assassinated the officer and pinned it on his I-9s. Tequila, knowing Dragon Claw to be one of the oldest and largest triad groups, asks why Wong hasn't struck back. Wang's reasoning is that Golden Cane has allied with a Russian mob group based in Chicago, the Zakharovs, who have kidnapped his daughter Billy and granddaughter Tico. The Zakharovs plan to hold them for ransom for a slice of Dragon Claw's territory in Hong Kong. Since Wang can't directly move against the Zakharovs, he asks Tequila to go retrieve his family. He needs a man who isn't affiliated with Dragon Claw but cares enough about Billy and Tico to risk his life for them, and who else but Tequila, the husband of Billy and father of Tico. His hands tied, Tequila agrees to go find them. Immediately after the deal is settled, Golden Cane strikes against Dragon Claw's base in Tai O, and Wong charges Tequila with blowing the place to pieces so he can escape. Since this is in police interest anyway, Tequila agrees, planting C4 charges on his way out of Tai O. Tequila makes a stop at the Golden Cane-owned restaurant Mega, where their leader Young Gi is holding an internet conference with Damon and Vladimir Zakharov. Seeing that the Zakharovs are recognized as philanthropists while still maintaining high standing in the criminal underworld, the relatively young and inexperienced Young plans to head to Chicago himself in order to see how Zakharov's organization is run. He also mentions retrieving Billy and Tico, as Golden Cane is to be the middleman between the Zakharovs and Dragon Claw in their exchange. During the conference, Young's right-hand man Tai Lok receives a call that they've got unexpected company, and offers to stay and deal with him while Young escapes. Exasperated that Tequila is still alive after all of Golden Cane's attempts to eliminate him, Young agrees and exits. 
Shortly afterward, Tequila arrives in the conference room and is attacked by the muscular Loke, who wields an oversized gun and a belt full of grenades. Despite Loke's superior constitution, Tequila emerges victorious. In the Zakharov's penthouse in Chicago, Young receives word of Loke's death and the destruction of the mega restaurant. Enraged, he tells the messenger to do him a favor and kill himself. Following the phone call, Young is approached by Damon Zakharov, who offers to show him his history museum. Uninterested, Young agrees to go along with it since it is a part of the Zakharov's operation. As Damon and Young leave, Vladimir Zakharov glances at a nearby surveillance screen and notes that two men have arrived in the penthouse's parking garage. As Tequila and Jerry pull into the parking garage, Jerry pulls out his phone and texts Wang with the current information, telling Tequila he needs to keep Wang thinking he's working for him. The two split up, with Tequila covering the lower floor of the penthouse and Jerry covering the upper floor. This plan goes awry, however, when the voice of Vladimir Zakharov booms through the penthouse's PA claiming to have dealt with Tequila's friend. Tequila fights his way to the top floor, eventually coming face to face with Vlad and a gauntlet of trip mines. Vlad makes his way to a helipad, where a chopper picks him up. As Tequila makes his way to the Zakharov's glass-windowed office, Vlad opens fire with a rocket launcher from the chopper, hovering just outside. Tequila shoots Vlad, causing him to fire a rocket into his own chopper and blow himself out of the sky. On his way out of the penthouse Tequila discovers a wounded Jerry and helps him out. Tequila buys a ticket to the Zakharov's museum, and enters to find Damon and Young negotiating the exchange of Billy and Tico. Damon changes the plans at the last minute, letting Young take Tico back to Hong Kong but saying he'll bring Billy himself. After a standoff between the Zakharov organization and Golden Cane, Young agrees and leaves with Tico. Damon retreats into the museum, holding Billy hostage, and Tequila gives pursuit. He eventually catches up and shoots Damon dead in the fossil section of the museum. He tearfully reunites with his wife once more, and tells her he was sent by her father to retrieve her. The reunion is cut short, however, when Jerry bursts into the fossil room and opens fire with two pistols. Tequila pushes Billy behind him to shield her and fires back, but moves to dodge a bullet which catches Billy in the chest. Firing wildly, Tequila manages to nick his former friend and partner in the shoulder, causing him to retreat. Turning to his mortally wounded wife, he holds her as she tells him that the Golden Cane have taken Tico to Hong Kong and asks him to forgive her. With that, Billy expires and an enraged Tequila dashes through the halls of the museum in pursuit of Jerry. When he catches up, Jerry is standing on a catwalk above an exhibit and firing at him with dual submachine guns. A breathless Tequila demands to know who paid him off to kill Billy, and Jerry responds that it was Wong, the same man who sent Tequila to find her. With that, Jerry takes off running again, and Tequila follows him to a dead end. The two duel each other with very similar moves, with Jerry diving around the room in much the same manner as Tequila. This doesn't prevent the inspector from gunning down his old friend. As he picks up his fallen partner's phone, Tequila texts Wong with a message claiming to have shot Tequila in the head. With that, Tequila tosses the assassinated officer's badge onto his former partner's body. Tequila finds Young in his office and immediately sits down to strike a bargain with him. He wants his daughter back, but Young refuses. With the Russians out of the way, he can now trade Tico to Wong for territory in Hong Kong. Tequila tells him he's a fool and shows him a text exchange between Wong and Jerry, where the two mock how stupid the Golden Canes are and talk about holding a GK funeral. Tequila further confirms the Dragon Claw's plan by asking Young if Wong set the time and place for the exchange, to which Young replies affirmatively. Tequila tells him to change it, and offers to interfere on Golden Cane's behalf. This way, he gets his daughter and his revenge, and Golden Cane can pick up the pieces of what Dragon Claw leaves behind. Everybody wins. Young agrees to this and calls Wang to change the location of the meeting to his old neighborhood in Kowloon. In the slums of Kowloon, the exchange goes down seemingly as planned. The only difference, Tequila isn't on time. Young is forced to improvise, and is unable to stall Dragon Claw until Tequila arrives. As his men bring Tico out of a nearby temple, Tequila bursts from an alleyway and shouts at him for being unable to hold them off. Wong is startled to see him alive after the text he received from Jerry, but nonetheless maintains his composure. He escapes with Tico while Young, Tequila, and Dapping are locked in a standoff, and as Tequila breaks the standoff by chasing him Dapping guns Young down and escapes. 
Tequila hijacks a nearby car and chases Wang to his estate, but is forced to deal with Wang's impressive security. Wang's men wield a variety of weapons ranging from rocket launchers to throwing knives to helicopter gunships. After Tequila shoots down a helicopter, it crashes through the locked front door of Wang's main stronghold. Tequila enters Wang's inner sanctum to find the old man and Dapping have taken Tico hostage. After a very tense standoff, Tequila relents and tells Wang to let his daughter go. But when Dapping takes the tape off Tico's mouth, she warns her father that it's a trap, and as she runs to safety, she takes a bullet in the arm. With newfound fury, Tequila guns down Wang's men and then goes after Wang and Dapping. Tequila takes down Dapping, but Wang pins him down with a high-powered sniper rifle. As Wang lines up what is sure to be a fatal shot on Tequila, Tico moves behind him and shoves him over the balcony. As the father and daughter reunite, Chief Lee arrives on the scene and returns Tequila's badge, which he had earlier confiscated for insubordination. Tequila and Tico leave the scene, leaving Chief Lee to gripe about how long the paperwork will take. <laughs> Influences Stranglehold attempts to translate the gun ballet aesthetic popularized by director John Woo, used in films such as Hard Boiled and The Killer, to an interactive media format. Although the game has drawn comparisons to Remedy Entertainment's Max Payne franchise, which was influenced by Wu, a more accurate account of both games' creative provenances traces the games to Wu's lengthy, balletic shootouts. Gameplay. During play, jumping in any direction or interacting with any object while aiming at an opponent or pressing a certain button will slow time, creating a short window during which tequila can shoot at targets. This technique—called tequila time—generates a cinematic effect that mimics Wu's. Tequila time is managed through a meter which drains with use and regenerates with time. Tequila can also make use of his environment, moving up and down railings, swinging from chandeliers and sliding across tabletops and riding on carts while shooting at enemies. Another form of gameplay comes from the style and grace associated with Wu's balletic firefights. By taking out enemies, the player earns stars. The more stylish the kills performed, the more stars received. Taking out enemies in quick succession, or interacting with the environment when taking down opponents, will earn the player the optimum amount of stars. As an incentive to interact with the environment, Tequila receives a bonus to his attack power and defense during interactions. Tequila also employs several iconic techniques from Wu's movies, referred to as Tequila Bombs. Tequila Bombs require energy to perform. The player gains energy by defeating enemies equal to the stars obtained and by collecting paper cranes hidden about each level. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. Stranglehold uses a heavily modified version of the Unreal Engine 3. Among these modifications is Massive Destruction also known as Massive D, a set of physics technologies that allows players to destroy nearly every object in a given level. Stranglehold also incorporates a body-swapping technique that randomizes parts of enemy character models, producing varied characters rather than repetitious clones. Stranglehold incorporates location-based damage. The AI responds in different ways to different hit locations, varying enemy reactions with damage mapped impact points. This feature is integrated throughout the game, but especially apparent during the second of four tequila bombs, Precision Aim. Also, while targets take time to recover from flesh wounds, they will eventually revive even if unable to stand and continue to fire until passing out from simulated blood loss. Stranglehold contains dynamic in-game advertising, such as posters and billboards for real-world products appearing during gameplay. A trailer for Stranglehold was present as an extra feature in Mortal Kombat, Armageddon. Topic. Collector's Edition. Midway released a collector's edition for the console versions of the game. The PlayStation 3 collector's edition includes Hard Boiled fully remastered in high definition and on the same Blu-ray disc with all the additional game extras and features. The Xbox 360 collector's edition includes the same extras and featurettes but on a separate disc without Hard Boiled. 
The Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 editions were both packed in a tin case with a holographic cover motif. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Updates and downloadable content. On December 6, 2007 Midway released a downloadable map pack for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 video game systems. The map pack features 10 additional multiplayer maps, as well as 21 all-new multiplayer character skins. The Xbox 360 version also includes 10 new achievements worth 250 points. Film adaptation. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Lion Rock Entertainment is making the sequel to John Woo's Hard Boiled. The film will be based on the plot of Stranglehold. In an interview with Twitch film Terence Chong announced that the film will be a prequel to Hard Boiled with a much younger tequila. Hong Kong actor-director Stephen Fung will direct the film in Singapore and the US with a $20 million budget. Since the initial announcement of a big screen version of Stranglehold, there has been no further news on its production. It is presumed that the project was a victim of Midway Games' bankruptcy. Reception Stranglehold has a generally positive score of 79% at GameRankings. IGN gave it a rating of 8.1 out of 10 for its cinematic flair and melodrama in the storyline true to the style of John Woo, enjoyable battles, and slick presentation. However, they said that the visuals were lacking, the game was too short, and inauthentic because the characters do not speak Cantonese. Empire Online gave it a 4 out of 5, also praising its dynamic action, as well its bombastic soundtrack, and slick visuals. Gamernode gave the game an 8.5 out of 10, calling it the ultimate guy's game. GameSpot gave Stranglehold a 7.0 out of 10, stating that although the game is solid in every department, it is repetitive, due to a short 7-hour single-player game and weak multiplayer. Electronic Gaming Monthly stated that Stranglehold was a game whose movie influences are more than skin deep.